Gu Hara was born on January 3rd of 1991 in Gwangju, South Korea. Hara and her older brother Gu ho -in were raised by their grandmother and aunt, while their father worked around the country to support them. Their mother abandoned their family and cut off all communication when Hara was in grade two. According to Gu ho -in, this led to Hara always desperately searching for love. He said, Hara and I grew up with the hurt of being children who were abandoned by our mother. As a result, Hara always craved love into her adulthood. She wanted to keep receiving love from fans so badly that she had a difficult time. In school, Hara trained as a track and field athlete for two years and was very popular among the male students due to her beauty, but was bullied by females for the same reason. When remembering this time on an interview, she said, it wasn't just simply bullying, it was way more shocking. Girls would come to my classroom and beat me up. They really did beat me up until I was about to die. It was a tough time for me. I had to change schools many times because the girls hated me. Hara had the dream of becoming a star, a dream that her family was against. But she started to work really hard to make it come true while still very young. Hara attended an acting school as well as a dance school and used to spend a lot of time training in both singing and dancing. Because her training sessions demanded a lot of time from her, she often came back home very late at night and used the remaining time she had left to study quietly to not wake her relatives up. Because she wasn't financially well of, Hara had part-time jobs to earn her own money. She worked in restaurant kitchens, washing dishes, as a waitress, putting up poster ads on the streets, and as a model, she often had nosebleeds and once fainted from the fatigue condition. Thanks to her hard work, Hara became a trainee under SM Entertainment in 2005 after participating in the SM Youth Appearance Tournament and placing third, lagging behind Sunmi and Gong Xingyan. Hara also made an appearance on the documentary Unwavering Dreams of KBS, where she showed her daily routine. And in 2007, secretly auditioned for JYP Entertainment while still being a trainee at SM and passed the audition. However, when she was about to join JYP, she was scouted by the company DSP Media because of her work as a model. DSP Media was looking for new members to join their girl group, Kara, after the departure of the member, Sung Hee. Hara was chosen as a new member and trained for one month under the company, only practicing the song that they were about to release. And that changed the group's career and Hara's life. At the age of 17, Hara made her debut as the lead vocalist, lead dancer, sub-rapper, visual, and face of Kara. On July 25th of 2008, with the group's first mini-album and title track, Rock You, she quickly became one of the most popular members of Kara that also gained a lot of popularity as Rock You became the group's biggest hit up until that point and marked the start of their golden years, releasing several iconic hit songs that will be forever remembered, including Lupin, Step, Honey, Pandora, Jumping, Pretty Girl, that had its first stage marked by an incident where flying pieces of paper got stuck to Hara's shoes, making her slippery and exclaim, ah! Viewers were able to hear the noise, which made Hara cry in the toilet for about an hour after the show. But she received support from the public who thought it was a cute mistake. When speaking of hits of Kara, there's one song in special that could never be ignored. And this song is, of course, Mr. That's undeniably not only Kara's most memorable song, but also one of the most memorable songs in the history of K-pop. And that also served as Kara's debut single in Japan, where the group built an empire becoming probably the most successful Korean group in the history of the Japanese market, breaking tons of records and even selling out Tokyo Dome in five minutes, being the first female South Korean act to hold a concert at the venue. Hara was the most popular member in the country, mostly for resembling the queen of J-pop, Naomi Amuro. As of September of 2010, she was the Korean girl group member with the biggest solo fan club in Japan, with about 6,500 members on Mixi, Japan's biggest social networking site at the time. But as everyone already knows, along with popularity also comes a lot of hate, rumors, controversies, and unfortunately, Hara was the target of a lot of them right from her debut. The first one taking place at the start of 2009 when old photos that were uploaded to her personal mini homepage and showed her with a man started to circulate online, netizens started to speculate that the photos were taken at a pension and that the man was her boyfriend. As in one of the photos, they appeared kissing each other. 
Hara started to be criticized for supposedly having sex with a man that appeared to be older while she was still underage. And this incident continued to be used against her for several years. Hara and DSP Media did not comment on the issue, but the man that appeared on the photos made a post on his mini homepage and wrote, This is a photo I took with friends I always auditioned with. I'm embarrassed that only photos that could be misunderstood are being spread like that. It's a shame that because she's a celebrity, stories are exaggerated and things that don't exist are made up just because of a photo. In 2011, Hara was involved in two dating rumors, starting with 2PM's Chan Sung after the two were seen holding hands while rehearsing for a New Year's special, and also with CM Blue's Yong Hua, because they were seen talking to each other at a rehearsal for a variety show. Regarding this rumor, representatives of DSP Media stated, Gu Hara naturally has an outgoing personality and has a lot of friends, both male and female. She makes the other person feel comfortable and is great at interacting in conversations. Because of such reasons, she's much loved with not only seniors, but broadcast representatives as well. It's quite surprising that this has become a scandal now. The entire world knows that she's close friends with Chan Sung. She's friends with Yong Hua as well. You can tell that there is no base behind the rumors when you look at the video. Misunderstandings are arising from a few screen caps. After the dating rumors, Hara was actually confirmed to be dating Jun Hung of Beast on June 28th. After paparazzi photos of the two at a local park surfaced on the web, Jun Hung's company made an official statement saying that they were dating for about a month, according to the website koreaherald.com. They were the first idol couple to announce their relationship publicly, and after two years together, they unfollowed each other on Twitter, which led to broke up rumors that were later on confirmed by their companies. Still in 2011, a video of Hara singing Because I'm a Girl of the Trio, Kiss, started to gain traction online and generated her a lot of hate from netizens who criticized her vocals and compared her to Jessica of Girls' Generation, who happened to sing the same song before Hara, and according to them, did a better job. The hate went as far as making Hara play second on a survey of worst singers taken by vocal trainers. Hara also became an MC of Inca Gayo, and during her time on the show, she suffered attacks from fans of the boy group Infinite for cutting off their acceptance speech, which made her apologize on her personal Twitter account by writing, Today was a day of mental breakdowns. Infinite fans, I am sorry. The time for the ending was short, and I couldn't help it. I am very sorry. Once again, congratulations to Infinite for being number one. She also faced hate comments for her facial expressions. Netizen speculated that she was in a bad mood because the other MC Jong Suk made a mistake when announcing a stage and cut her off when she tried to help him. But he defended Hara and posted, I made a mistake during a live broadcasting show, so Gu Hara tried to help me out, but now she's been getting some criticisms for that. I'm sorry, Hara. Everyone. This stupid rookie MC is still making a lot of mistakes, but I will get it together and do my best. During that same year, Kara almost came to an end, as in January 11, it was announced that all members, except Guri, would be terminating their contract with DSP Media, and a lawsuit was filed on their behalf by the parents of Nicole, Sungyun, and Ji Young due to payment issues. Hara found out about the news when she was filming a show in another country, and not a long time later, it was announced that she would discontinue her involvement with the lawsuit and would not leave DSP Media, thus saving Kara from an immediate disbandment. Later on, the other members reached an agreement with the company, and the entire group continued with their activities. In May of 2012, the Japanese adult magazine Kananoi X placed a zoomed-up underskirt photo of Hara on its cover, which made DSP Media take legal action with the DSP Japanese branch and Universal Music Japan against the magazine, being only the first time that the inappropriate use of her image caused controversy. As in 2015, photos of Hara and Ji Young were used as the profile and cover photo of a Facebook page dedicated to making fun of the Seawall Ferry tragedy. They used pictures of them edited with fake sunglasses and gave them nicknames claiming that they were victims of the tragedy, which caused a huge stir online. On October 24th of 2013, Hara worried fans after DSP Media revealed that she suddenly fainted from exhaustion during a concert in Japan the day prior. The company stated, fortunately, it was just due to mild dizziness, and after receiving first aid, Gu Hara returned back onto the stage to greet fans. Guhara is steadily recovering and will be able to perform during the tour without a hitch. A month earlier, she got caught in what until then became the biggest controversy of her career 
when her and her groupmates, Seungyeon and Ji Young, made that infamous appearance on the show Radio Star, after being asked what she was afraid of being asked by the host, Yoon Jong Shin, Hara was hesitant to respond, knowing that they were going to brawl whatever she set up, but he said, We'll take that question out. So Hara responded, I don't want to talk about dating. He teased her by implying she dated around and made the following disgusting remark. If we take away the category dating when talking about girl groups, we can't talk about many other things. She got offended with all the unfunny jokes, but the hosts continued to shame and bully her while her groupmates were trying to defend her. After the host, Q Hyun said, she's the dating doll, and if I open my mouth, Hara will be over. Hara threw a water bottle at his direction and ended up crying. <laughs> The host also made Ji Young cry that day for pressuring her to do Igo, but after the episode aired, the girls were the ones bashed by the public, mostly Hara for throwing the water bottle. They were called such things as rude and ill mannered, which made Sung Yun apologize on her personal Twitter account. She wrote, I want to start off by apologizing to the people of Radio Star who cast us on the show. We will reflect on the fact that our individual attitudes on the show were not professional. We want to apologize to and thank the show's MC and our fellow guest Park Jin Young for caring for us during and after the show. I am posting this after spending the whole day agonizing over what to say. This was not the first time Hara was mistreated by hosts, as in 2010, her and Giri were asked questions with sexual innuendo on the Japanese show Exile Tamashi, hosted by the members of Exile, but this time the public stood by the girls' side. In 2014, Kara went through a very challenging phase after Ji Young and Nicole, who was most possibly the most popular member, left the group. Young Ji was then added throughout the survival show project Kara, but she was not well received by the fans and was treated like an outcast by a lot of them. The odds were all against Kara, but when they came back with their new lineup on August 18th with their sixth mini album, Day and Night, and the title track, Mamma Mia, Anyone who doubted if they were going to survive were left speechless as Mamma Mia became a hit in one of Kara's most praised works, having as its frontman, Hara. So she stood out a lot during this comeback, and also proof wrong. Anyone who already said that she was only pretty and not talented. Accusations of just being pretty and not being talented were very present during Hara's career, especially after that clip of her singing Kiss. And mostly because she's undoubtedly one of the prettiest humans of all time, pretty idols always get overlooked as people love to reduce them to just being pretty. And that's exactly what happened to Hara. Because of her beauty, people slept on how stupendous of a performer she always was. Hara's appearance was a hot topic right from the jump. After making her stage debut, she made a huge visual impact and caught the public's attention right away. Her tiny waist was famous and she was always included in lists of most beautiful celebrities. She won the Hot Campus Girl Award at the 5th Mnet 20s Choice Awards, was named the world's 99th most beautiful face of 2014 by TC Candler. Her fan cams gained millions of views and a gif that shows a close-up of her face on the MV of Damaged Lady is considered legendary by netizens for how stunning she looks. Despite being mostly known for her beauty, Hara was one of the only celebrities who had no problems discussing plastic surgery after rumors gained force due to pre-debut pictures of her that were rescued in 2010. She confirmed them on a show and said she got her teeth fixed, double eyelid surgery, and nose filler. She finished by saying, I feel good inside after saying this out loud. And in 2015, she revealed that she got laser treatments and Botox from time to time. All of that made Hara become one of the it girls from the second generation of K-pop who endorsed various brand deals, starred in music videos of different artists, and several CFs. One of the most notorious ones being for the soju brand Chum Churum that was age-restricted and suspended temporarily because the models who participated in it were all idols and had a great influence on teenagers. Hara continues to live up to the title of It Girl till this day, as recently she went viral within several social media platforms such as Twitter, Tumblr, TikTok, and Pinterest for her stunning visuals mostly during the promotions and MV of Kara's single Pretty Girl. A screenshot of its opening scene that shows Hara on a bed wearing headphones became widely known across the internet, being used as the profile picture of people who don't even know her and by non-K-pop fans as well. As rightfully so, Hara is considered one of the greatest visuals in the history of K-pop, whose name will always come up whenever the topic is mentioned. 
and an eternal it girl who remains relevant and influential for stuff she did over a decade ago. In addition to her work as an idol, Hara made her official debut as an actress in 2011 on the drama City Hunter, for which she won the New Star Award at the SBS Drama Awards. As a voice actress in 2013 on the Japanese film Kara the Animation, was a frequent MC and variety show figure, even being awarded for some of them. She won the Best Female MC Award at the 2010 KBS Entertainment Awards for her work on the show Invincible Youth and the Best Challenge Award for Shaolin Clenched Fists at the 2015 SBS Entertainment Awards, and already starred her very own reality show called Hara On and Off. Hara was also famous for her charity work. In 2011, she made news for donating 100 million won for survivors of an earthquake that happened in Japan, and was awarded at the 2013 50th Savings Day for making many donations to society. As well as for being an athletic idol, due to her appearances on the show Idol Star Athletics Championship. Hara is actually considered a Isaac legend, and once claimed that the show was created because she can run a lot. In 2010, she showed her amazing agility on the show and gained the nickname Gusain Bolt. And in 2015, she became a bronze medalist in track and field. Regarding her solo music career, Hara had already been featured on collaborations, OSTs, and even solo songs, including the track Secret Love featured on the album Kara Solo Collection, in which she has writing credits, as well as on the track Story of the EP Day and Night. But her solo debut only happened in July 14 of 2015 with the release of the EP Alohara Can You Feel It? and the title track Choco Chip Cookies featuring the rapper Geary Boy. Choco Chip Cookies was an attempt of a summer hit that had an okay commercial performance, peaking at number 21 and selling over 37,204 copies, but did not have a very good response from the public. <laughs> まあ、黒の댓글들도 <笑>あ、ね。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> 뭐 뭐에 대해서요? 아니 이렇게 열심히 뭐, 하는 이쁜 애한테 누가? 뭐 그냥 뭐 그냥 시기 질투 뭐 플러스 뭐 마음에 안 든다 뭐 이런 악플들 뭐 그냥 있잖아요. 이유 뭐. 없게 그냥 이유 없는 악플들 이유가 있는 악플들도 있긴 있어요. 아 그거는 악플이 아니라 좀 조언 같은 아 댓글들 비판도 있고 네네네 그럼요. 그냥 악플도 있고 그냥 악플도 있고 괜찮아요. 저는 근데 좀 속상하긴 하지만 그래도 금방 이, 잊어버리는 편이라서 무덤덤해지는 것 같아요. Mm. Alohara sold over 6,200 copies and peaked at number 4 in South Korea, 64 in Japan, 34 in Taiwan, and at 94 on the U.S. Billboard World Albums chart. The song How Is It that features Young Ji and served as a follow-up on music shows was deemed inappropriate for broadcast by KBS, even before released, due to its lyrics that illustrate sexual behaviors between a man and a woman but it was performed on NBC. On January 15th of 2016, the contracts of Hara, Sungyun, and Gyuri with DSP Media expired and they chose not to renew, thus causing one of the biggest groups in the history of K-pop to disband, as Youngji was the only one who continued under the company. <laughs> On January 18th, Hara shared a handwritten letter to fans expressing her feelings regarding the end of Kara and announcing that she signed with the agency Key East Entertainment. An excerpt from the letter read, Ahead of my new start, I've been thinking a lot and don't want to have regrets. I'll keep in my heart the precious nine years we spent together as Kara, as we respected each other's opinions. 
and now I will walk on a new road. I want to show you new sides of me in the future, as Guhara, and I want to take on the challenge of walking on roads I haven't been on before. It's possible that I could seem very lacking now that I'm on my own, but I'm not going to settle for my current self. During her time under Key East Entertainment and their subsidiary Content Y that she moved to in 2017, Hara was an MC for Power of K, acted on the web film Sound of a Footstep, and established herself as an icon of variety shows, being a part of several, and becoming one of the most famous personalities of South Korean TV. She also came back to music being a feature on the song sign of the singer Thunder in 2016, narrated tracks of the OST of Sound of a Footstep released in 2017, and also sang the OST Shining Day for the Drama Jugglers in 2018. On the same year, Hara completely rebranded herself and made her official solo Japanese debut in July 30th with the release of her first digital single, Wild and Company, under the company login, and her Japanese stage name, which has a K instead of a G in Goo. Wild surprised fans because it was different from anything she had ever done before. It generated even more comparisons to her lookalike Naomi Amuro and was much better received than her Korean debut. Although it's an almost unknown song by those who didn't follow Hara at the time, since it had little promotion, and was removed from all music platforms for an unknown reason, but its MV is still up on Hara's official Japanese YouTube channel. Even though she was 100% active and focusing on her career, Hara continued to be chased by rumors and controversies, so this era was also marked by a lot of them, actually even more than in her Kara days. During this period, Hara became one of the biggest targets of virtual attacks, receiving awful comments for the most nonsense stuff, including for posting selfies with no makeup on, for rumors that she was dating G-Dragon because they went out with Gahan and Suli, her friendship with Suli itself. As everyone knows, Suli was another victim of mass hate online, and pretty much every time they appeared together, they received tons of hate for many different reasons. People would go as far as to hate on Hara, claiming that she was trying to copy Suli because of the pictures she was posting. In 2018, Hara admitted on the show Happy Together that she started drinking and clubbing because she wanted to be rebellious. When asked why she wasn't appearing on as many variety shows as before, she said, I was preparing for promotions in Japan, but that fell apart. So then I felt rebellious. I worked for 10 years without drinking or going to clubs, so I wanted to try drinking and clubbing. I felt empty. I wasn't able to find myself and realize that I'm the happiest when I'm working. This appearance in particular made fans worry as they felt like Hara was not okay and looked like she was at the edge of tears the entire time. In March of 2018, Hara volunteered to help stray dogs and visited an animal shelter in Goyang. And at the end of that same year made fans even more worried as on September 5th, rumors that she had tried against her own life started to be spread after she was hospitalized. But her company denied the rumors and stated, she has a sleeping disorder, so she was treated at a hospital. What's being said in the tabloids and reports are not true. There's no issues with Hara's health. She's currently receiving treatment at a hospital. Her company claimed that she also received treatment for indigestion. And two days later, Hara thanked fans for worrying about her and told them that she was okay through media outlets. However, five days later, an incident that changed Hara's life happened and made headlines all over South Korea. From now on, the topics I'll be discussing are very delicate. So if you're sensitive, I recommend you to close the video. It all started when a post was made online claiming that a famous singer born in 1991 was charged with assaulting an ex-boyfriend after the man tried to break up with her. The public quickly linked the case to Hara and eventually it was confirmed the couple in question was indeed Hara and Choi Jong Boom, a famous hairdresser who Hara started to date on that same year after meeting him on the show My Mad Beauty Diary. I'll not cover the entire development of the case in order of time, as if it was the twists and turns of a movie because I feel like that's kind of disrespectful and it's not even something cool for me to research and for the people watching to know, but I do however think it's important to talk about it. So I'll summarize everything. On September 13th, Choi Jung Boom got drunk and broke into Hara's house around 1am while she was sleeping. Because he found out that she went out with a male friend, he kicked Hara awake, broke her stuff, assaulted her verbally, physically and even sexually as shown in the diagnoses made by a gynecologist and orthopedist. Hara suffered a hemorrhage in her uterus and vagina and was also diagnosed with cervical distension, facial bruises and strain, 
lower leg bruises and strain, right forearm injuries and additional strains. She scratched Choi Jong Boom's face in self-defense. So he contacted the police first, claiming that Hara one-sidedly assaulted him and that he did not use any violence against her while Hara claimed that the assault was two-sided. The case ended up in court, and during the trial, he began to blackmail Hara with an intimate video recorded without her permission, threatening to end her career by releasing it. A security camera of an elevator captured Hara kneeling down asking him not to share the video, and in July of 2020, Choi Jong Boom was sentenced to prison with no suspension in appeal trial. He was convicted for assault and threatening, but not for recording Hara without her permission, and even had his sentence reduced to one year in prison in November. Even though she was proven to be the victim, Hara was met with disrespect and almost no empathy. Ipul continued to send her hate and create rumors, including that her and Ji Young had a bad relationship because she posted the picture of a popcorn while everything was going on. Netizens believed that the popcorn symbolized how Ji Young was enjoying the show, which made her Japanese company respond, the photo has nothing to do with Hara's case. We never even thought of such a thing. So it is befuddling. Ji Young and Hara are still keeping in contact with each other. When Hara visits Japan, she contacts Ji Young to meet up personally. The case was made fun of. Hara's innocence was questioned, mostly because her ex was the one who contacted police first. And many were curious to see the private video her ex recorded and made comments on social media like, where can I find the real video? I want to watch it too. A Google analysis revealed that Hara's private video was searched over 200,000 times being Korea's top search on Google on October 4th, followed by sex videos and sexual intercourse. A judge who worked on the case was heavily criticized for demanding to see the video in court in front of everyone. But Hara's lawyer reportedly rejected the request with rage. This incident seems to have sent Hara into a spiral from which she unfortunately never came out of, even though she tried. She continued to make worrying posts over time, in one of them saying that she was sick and tired two days after this one. In particular, she calmed her fans by posting a handwritten letter to them via her official Japan fan club website, where she apologized for causing concerns and announced she would not cancel her fan meeting that was scheduled for the next month. During the meeting, Haro put an end to the rumors of a bad relationship between the members by showing recent photos with Nicole and ji -young. She also prepared a handwritten letter and read it in front of the fans, beginning, This year, there were a lot of events from happy ones to sad ones. Even when I thought, it's all over. Those who encouraged me with words like, fighting, I'm always cheering for you, have strength, and more were my fans. I would like to express my sincere thanks to you all. There are still things I need to resolve, but I will put even more effort for the fans who have been waiting for me all this time. She was not able to hold back tears and also revealed that she would continue to promote actively in both Japan and Korea and do her best so that she could give her fans strength. Days after, Hara's contract with Content Y expired, and she parted ways with the company. In March of 2019, Hara was asked by someone online if she had any relations with Seungni, who had just been revealed as part of the Burning Sun scandal. The person asked, Hara, you were a classmate with the great Sungspi. Do you have any relation, or do you go somewhere else? They both went to the same academy and were known to be good friends. But Hara answered, I have no relations whatsoever. In April, she performed at the Tokyo Girls Festival and revealed through Instagram that she had ptosis surgery, predicting that people would suspect that she had a double eyelid surgery. She explained herself by writing, I have been hurt a lot by the numerous malicious comments and experienced emotional pain since I was young during my career. There is a reason why I have ptosis, even at a young age. 
It is one of the reasons why I try to take care of myself so that it does not hurt because of the discomfort in my right eye. But now I think it's right to say that I'm confident, even if it's just for my own sake. I never once thought about having to deal with malicious comments. I am also a person who lives hard every day. No matter what I look like, I hope everyone looks at me with a pretty gaze at least once. I will continue to show that I am working hard and working hard as a person who takes responsibility for my actions. On May 25th, Hara posted a series of quotes about self-doubt, betrayal, ignorance, contemplation about life, and more on her Instagram account, and a photo with the word, goodbye. After that, she tried to take away her own life, but her manager was keeping a close watch on her and when she didn't answer her phone, they rushed over to her house and discovered her lying unconscious inside of a smoke-filled room. They dragged Hara out of the house and she was rushed to the hospital just in time. Hara's manager revealed that she was battling depression. After regaining consciousness, she apologized to the ones who love her and stated, I apologize to everyone for causing them to be worried. I will do my best to be healthy from now on. So many things were happening in my life, all at the same time. I am truly sorry. I will show a brighter and healthier side of myself. In June, Hara was discharged from the hospital and immediately flown out to Japan. In the same month, she made a post saying she was doing well and would work harder to recover to show the fans a better version of herself and also addressed haters on her Instagram story. She wrote, From now on, I will be acting against malicious commenters. I will not take any requests for favorable accommodations. For the sake of my mental health, I hope that I can appear to you as a person who uses pleasant words. Depression is not easy. You think I'm depressed because I'm taking it easy? These are the results of how hard I worked in the past. You could be depressed and sick too, don't you know that? Where are those kind words that we can use to comfort each other while hurt? I'm going to try hard to be positive and recover, so I hope you all try too. Public celebrities have to be careful about every aspect of their private lives, and they have pain that they can't even tell their friends and family. You can freely express yourselves, but can't you think about what type of person you are before making malicious comments again? Surprisingly, days later, Hara was seen on the website of the Japanese company production OGI, creating a rumor that she had signed a contract and a comeback was near. The rumors were confirmed by Hara herself, who stated, I want to do my best in Japan once again. This news left fans more than happy. It seemed like after so many hardships, Hara was getting back on her feet, way much sooner than expected. And looking back now, maybe much sooner than it should have been. Still in June, it was announced that Hara would perform at the TV Tokyo Music Festival 2019 that took place on the 26th of the same month. While she was performing, Hara's strapless dress fell off and exposed her bra, but it didn't take long for her to notice and fix it. She made a post on Instagram regarding the situation and wrote, Everyone, this is Hara. I had so much fun at a music show after a long time yesterday. I was surprised and upset, but I kept trying until the end. Thank you very much for your support. See you soon. In September, it was confirmed that Hara would indeed make a Japanese comeback with the single album Midnight Queen and would go on a special tour around the country in November. Days later, she appeared with the legendary choreographer Bae Yoon Jung on an Instagram post causing fans to speculate that they were working together for the comeback. And a short MV for Midnight Queen was released and caused hysteria between fans. Some people did not even recognize Hara at first for her new look, and more buzz was created for the official release of the track schedule for November. In October, Hara walked at the TGC Kita Kyushu Fashion Show. Fans felt like everything was finally getting back to normal. But on October 14th, Hara's friend Suli took away her own life. Following Suli's passing, Hara posted pictures of them together and wrote, In that world, I hope Jin Lee can do whatever she wants and went live on Instagram the next day to say goodbye to her friend together with fans. Hara appeared for the first time after Sully's passing, reunited with Shunyeon and G-Dragon after his discharge from military. In November 11th, Midnight Queen came out as planned, along with a B-side titled Hello, under production OGI and Login. A lot of fans got nostalgic and emotional as they found Midnight Queen similar to Kara's characteristic sound, and that's because the track was produced by none other than the duo Sweet Tune that gave Kara's music its own identity. Midnight Queen sold over 5,400 copies, debuted at number 15 on Japan's biggest chart, Daily Graph. 
and peaked at 29 on its weekly chart despite having little to no promotion. Midnight Queen only had one televised performance on the Japanese show Melodix, but according to fans, Hara no longer seemed to be present. Her mini Japanese tour called Hara Zep Tour 2019, Hello, was completed successfully. Hara seemed to be better while performing on the tour that ended in Tokyo on November 19th. However, four days later, Hara posted a selfie lying on the bed on her Instagram account with the caption, Sleep Well. And on the next day, she was found on her apartment while no longer breathing at approximately 6.09 p.m. after taking her own life at the age of 28. After the reports of Hera's passing hit the news, the world became a sadder place. Several celebrities mourned her loss by appearing wearing all black, delaying and canceling their set schedules, paying tribute to her on social media, broadcasts, and speeches. Sunyun allegedly went straight to Hara's residence after hearing about the news. Youngji did not attend the recording of Comedy Big League, of which she was an MC. And all the other members of Kara were present at Hara's private wake, shedding heavy tears, later on, leaving messages on their respective Instagram accounts. A separate mourning place was prepared for fans at Seoul St. Mary's Hospital from the afternoon of the 25th to midnight on the 27th, and fans from all around the world went to say their last goodbye. Some days after Hara's passing, the reporter Kang Kyung Yoon revealed that Hara offered to help her investigate Jung Jun Young's chatroom case, who was linked to the Burning Sun scandal and helped to shed the truth, and a petition demanding a more severe punishment for filming sexual acts without consent, and their distribution was submitted to the Blue House with more than 200,000 signatures. On December 1st, it was revealed that Hara's parents would receive her inheritance, which caused fury among netizens and was the starting point of the Gu Hara Act, which prevents a parent's claim on their children's assets if they neglected their parental duties. Hara's father immediately gave his half to Hara's brother, who always took care of her, but their mom, who, by the way, gave up her parental rights and custody in 2006, obtained a lawyer to demand 50% of her daughter's inheritance, which made Go Ho In file a lawsuit against her. He stated, I didn't want any noise over my younger sister's property, but I feel it's so unfair. I think I have to protect her. When asked what he would do with his share of the inheritance, he responded, I haven't made any detailed decisions, but I think what my sister wants most is for the money to help other people who are going through things like her. I want it to pay the legal costs of those who do not receive adequate educational fees or children who grow up in difficult circumstances with divorced parents. Gu Hoen revealed that Hara attempted suicide about five times, that she often expressed anger, regret, and emptiness about their biological mother, and regretted meeting up with her with the help of her uncle without telling no one a few years before her death. Gu Hoen also revealed that, that their mother appeared at Hara's funeral insisting on appearing as the family's chief mourner, appointed her lawyers before the funeral even ended, tried to record their conversation and asked the celebrities present for pictures. She also didn't pick up the real estate broker who was taking care of Hara's house and contacted her. She only gave them a lawyer's business card and messaged him to say that he should contact the lawyer. A reporter from the show True Story of NBC went after Hara's mother and confronted her by asking about her legal battle regarding Hara's inheritance, to which she responded, I have nothing to say, please leave. Ji Young's father appeared as a witness at the trial against Hara's mother, along with a friend of Hara and her biological aunt who helped to raise the siblings. At first, the National Assembly's Legislative and Judicial Committee did not pass the Gu Hara law because an additional judgment was required, but Gu Ho In did not give up and continued to fight for his little sister. Meanwhile, Hara continued to be remembered by friends, family, and fans, including by the Mexican reality TV star Ji Hu, who got a tattoo of her face. In January of 2020, Logan released the MV of the track, Hello, that was dedicated to Hara's fans, who were very moved by the release that made it feel like Hara had returned to say goodbye one last time. In April, a photo book that Hara is said to have actively participated in the creation of was released. In March, Gu Hoen revealed on his Instagram account photos of his newborn daughter and wrote in the caption, R. Hara, who constantly talked about wanting a niece or nephew, 
and even bought me vitamins. My younger sister, who said she would do anything for my first child and even take care of their college tuition. At your funeral, I asked you to be reborn as my daughter in your next life. As much as we didn't receive love from our parents, I hope to love you and look after you. And after a week, my wish has been granted and I have a daughter. Your niece was born well. Look after her so she grows up well. If you had known of the news just a week earlier, would something like that have happened? I'm sorry and I miss you so much. In the same month, a petition for Gu Hara Act was successfully submitted to National Assembly after reaching 100,000 signatures. In October, a thief broke into Hara's house and stole her personal safe. He attempted to enter the house using the main entrance and entered the previous password at first and knew the house's layout and exactly where the safe was. Months later, Seoul Gangnam District Police revealed that they ended investigation into the safe theft without finding a culprit back in December of 2020. They said they couldn't obtain additional CCTV footage near Hara's apartment because the report was filed to the police two months after the incident and that it was impossible to find the culprit just with video footage from the victim's side. In November of 2020, Hara's personal Twitter account was hacked for the first of two times in a month. In December, Guhoen obtained a small victory in the lawsuit against his mother. In February of the following year, Hara's father won a lawsuit against their mother as well. One day later, the Guhara Act was passed by the cabinet as a part of 21st National Assembly's family policies. And on the second anniversary of Guhara's passing, the Instagram account colors of Hara Gu was created and her brother announced that he would auction 10 oil paintings created by Hara and donate part of the auction proceeds to the nonprofit organization Florence to support children from single parent families. In 2022, Choi Jong Boom, who was released from jail the year prior, was ordered to pay Hara's family restitution for causing her death, apologized at his appeal trial, and pled guilty to charges he had previously denied. Kara also reunited to celebrate their 15th anniversary in pictures that the members posted of them together. They tagged Hara on the MV for their comeback single titled When I Moved that starts with the members celebrating on a table. They left a seat empty for her, fulfilling a personal wish that Hara herself had already expressed. <laughs> There's also an additional standing microphone at the end of the MV. And after the group made their comeback stage at the MAMA Awards, fans speculated that there was an empty space for Hara in the choreography of When I Move. When the promotions of the comeback ended, Ji Young left their album at Hara's resting place and wrote a message to her good friend on her Instagram account that read, Honey, such a good day has come. The moment you've been waiting for. I love you. I miss you. In April of 2024, Hara's mother lost the inheritance lawsuit and the Gu Hara Act passed National Assembly's Legislation Subcommittee and is now just two votes away from becoming law. Even after her passing, Hara continues to do what she always done best, which is helping people. Hara had quite a life and didn't deserve anything that happened to her. I seriously don't know how to end this video other than thanking her for making the world a better place and also by apologizing on behalf of the same world who never reciprocated her kindness. So thank you, and I'm sorry. I hope you're resting at a beautiful place and finally found your peace. Good night, sweet Hara. <laughs>